Psalm 130 verse 4 says something that seems very strange at first. With you, speaking to God, with you there is forgiveness that you may be feared. Feared as the outcome of forgiveness? <laughs> Shouldn't it be something like, with you there is forgiveness that you may be praised, that you may be thanked, that you may be worshipped. But feared? Well, this works in Hebrew a lot better than it does in English because we tend to associate fear with simply being afraid of something. I'm afraid of the dark. I'm afraid of whatever it might be. I have a fear of this thing, a phobia of this thing. That is only a small part of what the Hebrew word for fear means. The fear of the Lord, to fear the Lord, yes, entails being afraid in the sense of we're sinners and he's a holy and just God. But more frequently, the fear of the Lord is reverence toward him, the worship of the Lord. Um, a stance toward God in which we realize that he is the good and gracious giver of all things to us, and therefore we fear him, we reverence him, we worship him, we acknowledge that he is God. So fear encompasses all of these, not just to be afraid, but to revere, to trust, to worship, to bow down before the good and gracious giver of all things, including the gift of forgiveness.